Hey guys, um, so I've been meaning to do a review of my Vava 4K projector, the ultra short throw, for a while now, but I didn't have the screen. I recently got the screen, it's, um, it's an ALR screen, this is from a company called XY Screens. Um, apparently now Vava has come out, but, um, this is an ambient light rejecting or ceiling light rejecting screen, it's pretty much the same thing, what it does is that it rejects light from any other angle um, and only uh, accepts light from below uh, where the uh, projector is sitting. So because of that, even in ambient light, the image looks amazing. And right now, in my room, I have all the lights on and it pretty much looks like a 4K uh, television. So I uh, finally got the screen up uh, a couple of days ago and I wanted to talk about the uh, Vava projector. I've had it for about a couple of months now. I've had time to play around with it and I love the projector. Um, there are a few minor things uh, that they could improve but more or less it is an amazing pr uh, projector and uh, yeah I just want to talk about the projector so let's take a closer look at it. The projector itself is actually very uh, minimal looking and I think because of that it looks very elegant. Um, on wrapping around it is a fabric mesh that looks beautiful. Um, on top is the power button. That's the only thing that's um, that you see on top of the projector. Um, on each side um, there are grills and the vents for um, the fans and on the back of the projector is where all the connections are. So you have your three HDMI 2.0 ports. Um, HDMI 3 is uh, ARC so you know, if you want to connect your soundbar, and there's a USB port that you can use to play back media or to power up a device like a Fire Stick. Um, there's a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, and there's also an optical port and an Ethernet connection. And last but not least, of course, the input for the power cable. So this is the remote that comes with it. It's matte black. Just like the projector, the uh, interior where all the buttons are is gray. Um, the contrast looks great. Uh, all the buttons are on one side, which is helpful because it is not backlit. Um, but because the buttons are all on one side in the dark, uh, when you're holding it, you, just by moving your fingers on, on the buttons, you'll know that you're holding it right. As opposed to the Apple TV remote, which um, just the way it's made, I make the mistake all the time where I don't know which side is up and which side is down in the dark. Uh, this feels great. Um, simple buttons, really not much there. There's the home button, the menu button, back button, power on off, mute, volume down, volume up, and of course your directional buttons and the input. So yeah, that's it. Let's go over some of the features of this projector. Um, it's a native 4K. So it's not a true 4K, it achieves um, 8 million pixels by pixel shifting. It's got a laser light source as opposed to a lamp. Uh, it's an LPD 3.0 laser light source. And according to Vava, that is the same uh, light source that is used in most movie theaters. It has a 25,000 hour life. Um, yeah, it's plenty bright, 2500 ANSI lumens. Um, according to Vava, it has a three-segment color wheel, which is capable of achieving 85% of the NTSC color gamut. It sports HDR10, sports up to 150-inch display, 3000 to 1 contrast ratio. It's an ultra-short throw, so it has a 0 0.333 to 1 throw ratio, which basically what it means is that to get a 100-inch image, you just needed the projector to be about 7 inches away from the wall. It supports Bluetooth both input and output. So you can connect an input device like a remote or you can output the audio to headphones or a Bluetooth speaker. It has dual 30 watt Harman Kardon speakers. Uh, it's running an Android 7.1 operating system, 2 gigabyte RAM, 32 gigabyte storage. It has intelligent laser eye protection, which basically what it means is that it has a feature where if something gets in the line of sight of the laser, the laser will shut off because it can be harmful to the eyes. So there's also an option to turn that turn that off. Um, 
it has three fans for cooling and it, the, the fans do a great job of cooling the system. It never really gets hot and it's also very quiet, only 32 decibel, which is uh, akin to a whisper. So it is super quiet and uh, you never hear anything pretty much when it's running, but the fans uh, do a great job of keeping the system uh, pretty cool. So this is the Vava home screen. On the left side, there's a little preview going on always of what's playing in HDMI 1. In my case, it's a Fire TV. Um, you can always change the source on top. You can turn off the Bluetooth or you can turn it on. Next to it are the settings. You have the usual network. To, if you want to connect it to your Wi-Fi, change source, display, this is where you would go for any kind of adjustment to your image, keystone correction, power focus. They have this option for boot source. Um, I like this option. What it does is, as you see, mine is uh, set to HDMI 2. Uh, so every time I turn on my projector, it automatically just turns on. Um, it goes to HDMI 2, which is my Apple TV, instead of going home and then me having to select the source. That's a nice little option. Um, the refresh rate, depending upon what country you're in, there were quite. Um, there are a few options for sound. There was, I thought theater was the best. You can always change the output if you're not using the Bava. If you're using your headphone or you have a soundbar connected, you wanna, you can change it here. Um, I think in general you can uh, update the system software. You can also. This is where you would disable the eye detection if you wanted to do that. The other thing on the home screen is the App Store. I'm not a big fan of it. It's the Aptoid. Um, just not the best. Very glitchy and um, nothing plays in 4K. So I rarely ever use I actually don't use it. Um, I have never used File Manager. Multi-screen, it's... Um, the Vava has an app that is available for only Android devices. and. On the app, uh, there's a remote that you can use if you wanted to, you know, use your phone as a remote. You can always actually mirror your, using that app, you can mirror your phone to the screen. So you can play your videos and, um, you know, your images. So yeah, as far as the settings go, that's it. I forgot to add one thing. Um, a lot of people online are talking about a hidden menu. It's not so much a hidden menu, it's more of a quick access menu. Um, and the whole idea is that if you're streaming or like right now, you're playing a video and you want to go into your, uh, your uh, settings, your menu, you don't want to go to the home screen. So all you have to do is on your remote, press and hold the menu button. And on the left side, you'll get a pop-up. And from here, you can adjust your brightness contrast and you can do this while the video is playing so that way you can you know see what looks good and so yeah it's not a hidden menu it's more of a quick access menu um, I should mention that the HDMI 2.0 um, is turned off by default and you would want to turn that on for each source to get the full benefit of uh, 4k at 60 Hertz uh, you can also turn on the HDMI CEC, that way you can use your uh, VAVA remote to control um, your Apple TV or your Fire TV. Um, everything else is uh, here to Keystone Focus. It's just a quick access menu, it's not a hidden menu, but yeah, the HDMI 2.0, you definitely want to turn that on. As far as the image goes, I, I cannot stress enough how amazing it looks. Everything looks bright, but not saturated. Colors are uh, true to life. Um, HDR really looks good on this projector. I've tried a few ultra short throw projectors and the HDR just dims the picture a little too much. Not so much on this. Um, the flesh tones look amazing. It looks very natural. Now this is with the lights on. Um, as you can see, it looks amazing. I did have to do a slight adjustment. Uh, right out of the box, it looks good, but I have a little calibration DVD that I used, and I 
ed ended up um, changing a little bit of the settings and I did change the color tone to warm and once I made those adjustments it, it looks even better and the sound is good too it is a 60 watt Harman Kardon speakers um, it's not the kind of sound that you would use in a dedicated home theater but for casual viewing for your living room for your game room this is more than enough um, I don't think I ever get a, above 40 percent as far as the volume goes so yeah that's my review I, I love the projector there's a minor few complaints the app store could be better um, the remote could be backlit but other than that I think they have really nailed it with this and I'm I'm kind of curious to see if they will come up with a second generation and if they'll make any changes. Um, so yeah, that's my review. Hope you find it useful. Thanks guys.